everyone welcome to points of pharma today the topic is ICH guidelines here we will discuss the introduction of ICH we will also discuss the task and aims purpose and the participant of ICH coming to the introduction of ICH ICH is an association to promote public health through international harmonization activities at worldwide level. The official name of the association is International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirement for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. Formerly, it was called international conference the official abbreviation of the association is ICH ICH is a non-profit organization having its secretariat in Geneva Switzerland ICH was originally founded in 1990 in Brussels at a meeting of regulatory agencies an industry association of Europe, Japan, and the United States. ICH was reformed as non-profit legal entity under Swiss law on 23rd October 2015. This is the short introduction of ICH. Now, coming to the task and aims of ICH, ICH has two task or aim. The first one is to make a recommendation toward achieving greater harmonization in interpretation and application of technical guideline and requirement for pharmaceutical product registration and the maintenance of such registration. The second aim or task is to maintain a forum for constructive dialogue on scientific issues between regulatory uh, authorities and the pharmaceutical industry on harmonization of technical requirement for pharmaceutical products. These are the tasks and aims of ICH. To the purpose of ICH. It is the promotion of public health through international harmonization that contribute to prevention of unnecessary duplication of clinical trial and post-market clinical evaluation, reduction of unnecessary animal testing without compromising safety and effectiveness, development and manufacture of new medicine and the registration and supervision of new medicine. These are the purpose of ICH. Coming to the participant of ICH. The ICH association consists of members and observers. Here the point to be noted is that the individual people or the companies are not eligible to become the member or observer of the ICH. The members or observers of ICH are regulatory authorities, international organizations representing the pharmaceutical industry, and international organizations with an interest in pharmaceuticals. The ICH article of association describe in detail the criteria for organization to become ICH member or observers. Here the point to be noted is that the ICH observers have fewer rights and obligation than members. The ICH members. There are five categories of memberships of the ICH Association. These are Founding Regulatory Member, Founding Industry Member, Standing Regulatory Member, 
रेगुलेटरी मेंबर एंड इंडस्ट्री मेंबर फर्स्ट कमिंग टू द फाउंडिंग रेगुलेटरी मेंबर्स देर आर थ्री फाउंडिंग रेगुलेटरी मेंबर्स ऑफ आई सी एच दीज आर ई सी यूरोप दैट इज यूरोपियन कमीशन एफ डी ए यूनाइटेड स्टेट दैट इज यू एस फूड एंड ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड एम एच एल डब्ल्यू पी एम डी ए जापान दैट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ लेबर एंड वेलफेयर ऑफ जापान ऑल्सो रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई फार्मास्यूटिकल एंड मेडिकल डिवाइस एजेंसी दिस थ्री आर द फाउंडिंग रेगुलेटरी मेंबर्स ऑफ आई सी एच ए द फाउंडिंग रेगुलेटरी मेंबर्स हैव द राइट टू वोट इन द असेंबली द फाउंडिंग रेगुलेटरी मेंबर्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू इम्प्लीमेंट ऑल आई सी एच गाइडलाइन है Now coming to the founding industry members, like founding regulatory members, there are three founding industry members of the ICH. These are EFPI, that is European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industries and Association, PHRMA, that is Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturer Association of America. and jmpa that is japan pharmaceutical manufacturer association the founding industry members have the right to vote in the assembly with the exception of decision on the selection of topics for ich guideline and the adoption amendment or withdrawal of ich guidelines now coming to the स्टैंडिंग रेगुलेटरी मेंबर्स ए लेजिस्लेटिव और एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव अथॉरिटी ऑफ एनी जुरिडिक्शन इज एलिजिबल टू बिकम द स्टैंडिंग रेगुलेटरी मेंबर ऑफ आई सी एच इफ इट कैन डिमोस्ट्रेट दैट इट हैज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ रेगुलेटिंग ऑफ रेगुलेशन ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट फॉर वुमेन यूज एंड इट हैज बीन ए मेंबर of standing committee of international conference on harmonization of technical requirement for registration of pharmaceutical for human use prior to the establishment of the association currently there are two standing regulatory member these are swiss medic of switzerland and health canada of canada others members the other members of ich are regulatory members and industry members the eligibility requirement for regulatory members are given in article of association article 11 and assembly rules of procedure section 1.1 currently there are 10 regulatory members of ich these are brazil mexico egypt singapore republic of korea united kingdom china saudi arabia chinese tepei and turkey now come to the industry members the eligibility requirement for industry members are given in article of association article 12 and assembly rule of procedure section 1.2 Currently, there are three industry members. These are Bio, Global Self Care Federation, and IGBA. So we have covered the members of ICH. Coming to the observers of ICH, there are three categories of observers of ICH. These are standing observers, observers. and a dog observer say first coming to the standing observer say currently there are two standing observers these are world health organization that is who and international federation of pharmaceutical manufacturer association that is ifpma now coming to the observer say 
द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर ऑब्जर्वरशिप आर डिस्क्राइब इन आर्टिकल ऑफ एसोसिएशन आर्टिकल सेवन टीन एंड असेंबली रूल ऑफ प्रोसीजर सेक्शन टू पॉइंट टू पॉइंट वन एम द ऑब्जर्वर्स मे इंक्लूड लेजिस्लेटिव और एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव अथॉरिटीज रीजनल हारमोनाइजेशन इनिशिएटिव इंटरनेशनल फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हुज वर्क और मेम्बरशिप इज रेगुलेटेड और इफेक्टेड बाई आई सी एच गाइडलाइन से ऑब्जर्वर्स ऑफ आई सी एच ए एडॉक ऑब्जर्वर्स द असेंबली और द मैनेजमेंट कमेटी मे डिसाइड टू इन्वाइट ए रिजनेबल नंबर ऑफ पार्टीज टू अटेंड एन असेंबली मीटिंग एज एन एडॉक ऑब्जर्वर द एडॉक ऑब्जर्वर हैव द राइट टू अटेंड दोज मीटिंग ऑफ असेंबली फॉर विच दे हैव बीन इन्वाइटेड है This is all about today topic hope you enjoyed the session soon we will meet with another topic thank you